So Edison, in a house, what are some good reasons to have hot water? Those are good reasons. Do you think it would be good if we had hot water in the schoolie? Yes, for sure. And today we're going to install this Gerard model GSWH-2. And will you help me install it? Yes. That'll be our project for today. Yes. Well, the first step is to take the heater out of the box yes. to unbox it. Will you help me with that? Yes. Or maybe we'll turn it like this. Oh, this is a thick book of instructions to tell us the right way to install it. That means it's going to be hot, right? Well, we'll have to do it in a careful way. Are you holding on to the box so the box comes apart from it? I don't wonder how we get the plastic off. Yeah. Is this weird open? Yeah. Oh, and something else fell out. What do you think? What do you think this is for? I think this is to warm it up. I think this is to warm it up. I think this is the controller that will control the heater. Now we're looking at the back of the heater, yeah. and it has some things sticking out. What does that one say? Cold. So this is where the cold water from the fresh water tank goes in. Yeah. And what does that say? Hot. So what do you think this is for? Hot water. This is where the hot water comes out yeah. after the water heater heats it up. Yeah. Now every machine needs fuel to work. Yeah. What kind of fuel do we put in our car, for example? Um, gasoline. We put gasoline in. Now, for this heater to work, we're going to use something called liquid propane such as it fits in a tank like this. And where does that go in? Right here. Right here where it says LP gas. Yes. We're going to need a very special pipe to go from here to here to make sure none yep. of the gas leaks out. Also, we have some wires here. Yes. And this wire says 12 volts DC. So we have to hook up 12 volts, red to the positive, black to the negative. And then these blue wires go to the control that allow us to turn it on and off and set yeah. the temperature. Now we're looking at the side of the heater that is going to poke out of the side of the schoolie. Yeah. And the instructions say we have to cut a hole in the side of the schoolie yeah. to fit this. Now, in school you're learning to use centimeters and meters, right? But I'm old and I learned to use inches. Could you just stand over there a little bit? Yeah. Okay. And the instructions say to cut a hole that's 13 inches tall. Can you help me stretch it over this way? And also 13 inches wide. That's a little bigger than the heater though, isn't it? Yeah. And so it's a good question. Why do they ask you to make the hole a little bit bigger? Well, this is not very pretty to have this sticking out. And so at the time you buy the heater, you decide what color you want, black or white. I chose black. And this is a cover that's going to go over it to make it look pretty. Yeah, but it's a little bit bigger than the heater. It's a little bit bigger than the heater. I think that's I the answer to the question. We can see that actually looks like steam. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We can we can try that. We can test it out with us. We can try testing it out just to make sure. Uh, how would we do that? I hold on to it right here and you can go get some measuring tape. How about I wonder if we can actually open it up. Let's see if that helps us to measure. What do you think? I'm thinking, do you see holes around the edge here? Yeah. Here and here? Mm -hmm. Do you see holes around the edge of the heater? Yeah. Do you think that we were we will attach it yeah. with screws going in those holes? Yeah. I do too. So let's do a test fit, Edison, and see how the cover will fit on the heater. It's a bit of a tight fit, isn't it? Yeah. What, and what was it that makes it tight? The, the um, foam. Yep, the foam rubber there makes it a tight fit. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll fit it on in a second, but in the meantime, once we push it in, we have to figure out what will hold it in place. And I think we're supposed to use screws that go in here, these holes, and there are also holes on the inside that the screws will go into. I think we're supposed to use these kind of screws. Let's hold those up to, to the camera. And there's a word there I was showing you before, stainless. And let's um, look a bit at what that means. So we've got a knife, fork, and spoon from the kitchen, yep. and a nut and bolt. What's different between them? So the nut and bolt right here are rusty, and the fork, knife, and spoon are all clean and not rusty. That's right, because knives, forks, and spoons, because they're exposed to the water a lot, the people who make them make them out of a special kind of steel called stainless steel. 
Steel that is not stainless steel can rust if it's exposed to a lot of water. That's why the instructions for installing our water heater say we should use stainless screws because the screws might be exposed to rain on the outside of the bus. Yeah. So that's what we'll use, okay? Yeah. So Edison, yeah. you've got one of those stainless steel screws. Slip it in that hole and tell me if it goes right through. It does. So that hole will not catch the screw. The screw goes right through. But then when it's done, it's going to go in one of these little holes. And how's the size there? Right here. Does it push right through? No, just the tip. Just the tip. So when you put the screw in that hole yep. and turn it with a screwdriver, is it going to stick? Yep. Yep, it should hold it very strongly. Want to try to screw one of the screws in? Yep. Try putting the... Just try to screw. A little hard to start it, isn't it? Maybe, yep. maybe we'll start it together. Yep. I got it now. Got it now? Okay. Ready, tidy. Now, because screws can be hard to turn by hand, sometimes we use a power tool. Would you like to switch to a power tool? Yeah. Or, or should you just finish that one by hand because you're going so far? No, I, I, I can just finish this one by hand. Okay, sounds good. Go for it. Good job. Perfect. Last screw. Yep. Perfect. So Edison, we want to install the yeah. heater right centered on the wheel well yeah. here. And I guess in this space, it would be nice if we didn't have to cut into the rub rails, huh? Yeah. Let's see if we're going to be able to avoid that. Now the hole we're supposed to cut is 13 inches square, right? Yep. Is 13 inches going to fit in there? No, because that's 11 inches. And the other thing is, the cover has to fit on here as well, right? Yeah, and so I think we might have to play show, show. And I think for the cover to fit, we also have to cut this one. We have to cut this rub rail? Yeah. It would be nice if we didn't have to cut this rub rail and this rub rail, if we could get away with just cutting one of them. Yeah, I think we only need, can just need the one. So if we decided not to cut this one, we would have to maybe cut all of this out. Yeah. But then the issue is, what's it going to look like on the inside? We're going to need to figure that oh. out too. So you know what I think we're going to do to start? What? I think we're going to go inside and just drill a hole right here, because we can measure from that hole. We can measure up and we can measure down and see where we are, okay? So Edison, this is the wheel well, right? Yep. And I'm thinking we'll put the heater centered right between these yeah. two. So we're going to measure it using old-fashioned inches because that's what I know how to do. And it comes out to between 27 and 28 inches, 27 and a half. And I know that half of that is 13 and 3 quarters. So can we mark that down? Right there. Okay, right, yeah. It's a little hard to do, so I'll draw this one. So that is about the halfway mark. And now, I think we're going to drill a hole here just to guide us. Now, do you see these? Screws coming through? Yeah. Can you imagine what they're for? Um, I think it's to hold in the black. Hold in the black rug rail, that's right. So if I drill too low here, I know I'm going to be going, drilling into rug rail. If I drill up here, same problem. So I'm going to drill kind of in the middle. Yeah. In fact, would you like to do the drilling? Yeah. So you've got your safety goggles on? Yeah. And you're ready to drill? Yeah. See how the bit wanders around on metal? Let's yeah. do it a little together. Did we do it? Yeah. Okay, we should go outside now and see what we did. Yeah. So where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, now let's do some measuring. Yeah. So this pilot hole I drilled is about four and a half inches above the stair rail. 
So that's the bottom edge of how low we would want to cut our 13 inch square hole, but that's also below the rub rail. So that's not an issue. So we need to mark the lines where we're going to cut. Yeah. And I find it easier to draw on painter's tape yeah. because you can peel it off after and it doesn't make marks on your good paint. Will you help me put a strip of tape right yeah. here? In fact, we can even start a little below. Yeah. Can you push that in? We want to make it as vertical, as up and down as we can. So I've drawn some lines on the green painter's tape. Yep. I think it's 13 inches across. Will you check with me? Yep. 13? Yep. In the middle? 13? Yep. And at the top? 13. Okay. So I think we're in a position to cut the vertical pieces. Still have to figure out the horizontal pieces. Yeah. So we're going to do some cutting now with the grinder. Yep. I'm letting you hold it because it's not plugged in. Yeah. We can see that this wheel is going to spin very fast and the edge of it is going to cut into the metal. Yeah. But there's always a risk that this could break and injure us. Mm -hmm. So even though I'm going to be doing the cutting, you're also wearing your safety glasses and your safety visor. Yeah. And I am too. So let's go. Cutting. Okay. He didn't intend to shower you in sparks. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Okay. But they really came at you, did they? Yep. There's a little spot where I was standing covered in sparks. Now we're able to get back here before, they, before the sparks got me. Oh, good I for you. Like from there. I had no idea. I'll have to be more careful next time. Yeah, that's what I'm going outside this time. Good plan. Okay, so now we're going to do a test fit. This is the 13 inch square hole. There's rub rails here still, so I can't push this through very far. But does it fit in? Yes. It does. So we've cut the 13 inch square hole successfully. Now we just have to cut some rub rail on the outside to make it big enough to hold the door. Yep. Would you please hold? A ten, yep. and we're going to do a test fitting now, and figure out where we have to cut the rub rail down here and up here to accommodate the door. Please wait till I slide it all the way in and kind of get it balanced. Please don't mark yet. Wait till it's all. Okay, good. Can you mark it now, please? Now we'll take it out and see what we've drawn, all right? Yeah. Could you lift the, the wire screen, please? And the red one, too. So, what does this mean? Is this where I need to cut the rubber out? Yeah. You know, what's a little interesting is that what you drew is a curve, which is just right. But a grinder isn't really good at cutting curves. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll try and find out, all right? Yep. And when I make this cut, do you want to be close to where the sparks are or far away from where the sparks are? Close. Oh, of course you do. So, does the door of the hot water heater fit in the hole now? Yep. Could you open up the door, please? Yep. Great. Now, what I'd like you to do is use the red pen and make a dot where I'm going to drill for each of those eight holes. How many holes did Grandpa think there were? Eight. How many were there for real? Ten. Show me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, let me count that again. One, okay. two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven! So, where we cut with the saw, those edges are really sharp. What are we going to do? File them. So, 
So we need to make a wooden frame on the inside of the hole that we just cut. And the top and bottom pieces, how long did we decide they needed to be? 17 inches. 17 inches. Will you help me measure that, please? Yeah. Right here. Yeah, would you make a mark at 17, please? Yeah. And there and hold it steady. I'm going to use the saw and cut it. Okay, I think I'll go in here. Good idea. So Edison, yes. we've cut two of the four boards we're going to need for our frame. Yep. And where does one go? Along the bottom? Yep. Could you hold it up? And we're going to use some construction adhesive or glue and yep. clamps to hold it in place. Yep. Should we do that next? Yeah. So we're going to use this construction adhesive yep. to hold the boards in place. Yep. We put it in a caulking gun. Can you pull the trigger? Yep. Do you see the plunger going in as we pull the trigger? Oh, yeah. Like it? Yeah. And that's going to that's gonna make it squeeze out. You, you got to pump it, punch it a lot because this is already partly empty. Okay, okay. I think we're at the end. Now... Squeeze some. I don't think we need a whole lot. It's probably enough. And for these clamps to close them, you squeeze the trigger, all right? So I'll put the board in place. Now, is it centered? Is this the same here and here on both sides? It's enough if it's close. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Can you squeeze the handle on the back? I'll do it to That's one. the next morning. The clamps can come off. Still frosty outside. On the outside it looks serviceable, but up close not terribly pretty. Also, I don't want rainwater to collect in the rub rail down here. A shout out to Gavin and Emily at Adventure Trudge on YouTube for suggesting spraying this great stuff foam into the cavity here to keep the water out. I haven't used a product like this in many years, so I don't know if I'm going to do a very clean job. It'll probably be a little bit messy. Also, the instructions say to make sure you wear gloves and eye protection because this sticks to your skin. So this is not a part of the project that my grandson Edison is going to be part of. It's a few hours later. The foam has dried. I'm going to trim it now using this long bladed knife, which is also not a kid-friendly task, so I'm going to do this on my own. I felt compelled to use the whole can of foam at once because there's no practical way to clean the nozzle to use it at a later time. I think I ended up applying it too thickly because when I went to cut away the excess, it's still moist down there. It hasn't fully cured and doesn't have the nice smooth surface I was hoping for. I'll need to do something to remedy that. Still not beautiful, but with some black paint and black lap sealant, we're in the ballpark. So Edison, we need to put something all around the edge to keep rain from flowing in. And a good thing to use is called butyl tape. Can you help me put some on? Yes. Mm. It, yes, it has paper wrapped around one end. Why do you think it has paper wrapped around one side? Because it was so sticky. Yeah, it would stick to itself otherwise, and then we could move it again this part. As it is, it's kind of hard to... See so how it's sticking over there? There, we got it. Where's the end of it? Right here. Right here, okay. 
Can you stand over there, please? Yeah. And we're going to put some right against the edge. And can you help rub it into place, please? Is that rubbed into place nicely? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to get the scissors and cut it. Now, how many sides does a square have? Twelve. Mm -hmm. So we've done, this is one side. We're going to have to do three more. Yeah. Now, so at some point, you've got to peel that paper off. Can you peel that off? Yeah. Now there's a nice sticky edge there. Why is it double sided as tape? Oh, this is just wax paper. No, what is it well, oh, that's just right through. That's just sticky stuff right through. Oh. It'd be kind of lovely just having gray sticky tape. You're right. It's not a good look, but we might be able to trim off the extra even after we install the water heater, okay. which I think is the next step. Should we go install the water heater? No, it's off this spot right now. I should trim that first? Okay. Good point. How about now? Are we ready now? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Okay, inside helper, are you ready? Yep. There are some loose wires here, and I want to make sure they don't get caught. Would you hold on to them, please? Perfect. The instructions say that there should not be a window within a foot of this exhaust. In a schoolie like mine, the windows only open halfway down from the top. So we're at about 18 inches, we're fine. So what do you think? It looks great. On to the next project. Great idea.